Topics. And now, introducing tonight's unlikely pairing, Boy Bands and the Southern Border. Please welcome tonight's hosts, Sarah Bai and Bobby Lafibri. Hey! What's up? It's mixed days. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Bobby Lafibri. I'm a writer, performer, and culture worker. And if you've been following, I'm still Colorado's poet laureate. <laughs> Governor has not made a decision, so until then, you got me. Poet Laureate now and forever. Forever. I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, my name is Sarah Bai. I am the Min Sohn Deputy Director for Programming Now and Forever at the Museum of Contemporary Art Denver. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. To welcome you here tonight to the Holiday Theater for Mixed Taste. Bobby and I co-curated and we are co-hosting this season of Mixed Taste. Yeah, we always like to do a, by a round of applause. Who's been to the Holiday Theater before? Okay. I thought I recognized a few of you out Who's there. Who's been to a mixed taste event before? <laughs> Who's been to all the mixed tastes this year? All right. Yeah, and the crowd goes mild, but that's all right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, if you've been here before, this will be a repeat for you. We're going to give a little lecture on how to do QR codes. Uh, we have a second screen option, so you can play along with the show on your phone tonight. Here's the QR code. You can scan that, and then you can submit questions. You can play the games. And right now, you can tell us who your favorite boy band is. Bobby Lefebvre, yeah. Poet Laureate, who is your favorite boy I vacillate band? between New Edition, Jodeci, Belle Biv DeVoe. I'm a, I'm a kid of the 80s and 90s R&B movement, the New Jack City, all this stuff. Tonight's going to be a, trick, a treat for anybody who, uh, like me, likes those things. So. Uh, let's see what uh, you like. Uh, Gwar, Gwar. Never considered Gwar a boy band, but yes. <laughs> um, Duran were... Duran. Oh, yeah. I've never considered it. Duran Duran Four, Duran yeah, band. they just did a tiny dust, didn't Jackson they? Jackson 5, and maybe killed. one of the original Wu Tang boys. Clan, look at yes. that, Wu Tang Clan. Yes. Los Lonely Boys, Backstreet Boys, uh -huh. New Kids on the Block, we were talking about them early. Millie Vanilli. That's a bold choice. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, o Town, Boys to Men. A Not lot of New Kids on the Block, this is good. Hanson, oh gosh. Yeah, there you go, all right. Mbop, well, yeah. I think LFO. we get it. I think we get it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, they so, can't handle it. They uh, can't handle it. You, I think you, you get it. Yeah, yeah. Fans, you're going to have a great time. Yeah, tonight. and, and as the show. night goes on, you can continue to type questions in. And for whatever reason, if that QR code isn't working, you can go to slido.com and type in mixed taste, all one word. Um, and whoever makes the best connection tonight will get a prize as chosen by our digital producer, Dele. So make sure to leave your name when you're answering questions because we'll be monitoring those all, all evening. Let's do it, huh? All right. Mixed Taste is a mashup series where we bring together two speakers who each speak on their topic for 20 minutes. During the first part of the program, we allow no connections between the topics, but then they take, uh, I think I did your part, so. That's all right. Okay, but then we do question and answers on both topics. At like the that. same time. Yeah, okay, the, we got, the there. Rules. We got right. there. Yeah, we know the script now. Um, <laughs> the rules are very, very simple. One person's going to come up here and speak for 20 minutes on a topic. The next person's going to come and talk about a completely unrelated topic for another 20 minutes. No connections in your questions for the first part of the evening. But uh, when we get into the Q&A, um, we encourage you to make connections between topics. And at that time, anything can happen and usually does. Between the talks tonight, we are going to play a quick trivia game with uh, the host of Black People Know Things, Chanel Hughes. And at the e end of the evening, we will have an original poem that connects the two topics, the southern boy border and boy bands performed by local poet Mahogany. Yep. All right, so let's introduce our first speaker let's tonight who is going to be speaking to you on boy bands. Tamashi Jackson is a visual artist. Her exhibition across the universe is on view right now at MCA Denver, just down the street. She was raised in Los Angeles, California. She has an MFA in painting and printmaking from Yale and a master's of science from MIT. Her work has been included in recent solo exhibitions at the Parish Art Museum, the Radcliffe Institute for the Advanced Studies at Harvard and the Wexner Center for the Arts. She's a music lover, as you will see, and right now, or perhaps 
a little later, you can see her perform as her alter ego, Tommy Tonight, which is on view in the lower level of MCA Denver. So please give a warm welcome to Tamashi Jackson. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. I'm very nervous, but I'm here simply to state the facts, and I only have 20 minutes to do so. So let's begin. <laughs> I'm here to talk about New Edition. I'm here to talk about New Edition because every boy band that has formed in the United States since 1982 has been influenced by the example of five black boys from the Roxbury neighborhood of Boston. Um, here we go. Formed in 1978 in the Orchard Park Housing Projects in the Roxbury neighborhood of Boston, Massachusetts, the new addition was intended to be modeled after the extraordinary Jackson 5. Ricky Bell, Michael Bivens, Bobby Brown, Ronnie DeVoe, and Ralph, Tres Ralph, Tre Ralph Tresvant began uh, their recording careers together as young children with their debut album, Candy Girl, in 1982. Sing along if you know it. Oh God, there's so much good stuff, so I gotta keep moving. All right. So, God, so many boy bands that we all love. New Edition is wholly unique. We watched them grow up over 40 years, from childhood to young adults to young men. They split up into solo careers, super groups, mentored other bands. Um, no group has ever done what they've done. That's the only point I came here to make. Let's listen to this. Like what they did can never be redone because this music industry doesn't even exist anymore. Can we turn it up? Because they want me to move it along. Okay. Um, <laughs> they're on me. Okay.